Hello, Holly Boyd here, your Christian organizer, author, speaker, and coach. Today's Holly's Habitude is bipolar or pi-polar. As most of you know, this summer from May on, I was laid up. I broke my pelvic bone in two places and my spine in one. So I wasn't a happy camper. I lost my entire summer. And then, of course, you have those wonderful people trying to cheer you up. Well, you know what? Sometimes you just want to be in a bad mood. Yes, even Holly with Holly's Habitude, being in a good mood by habit. Sometimes you want to be in a bad mood. The only danger with that is if you get too far in, sometimes it's hard to get back out or you get that back and forth. That's why it's entitled today, bipolar or pi-polar. Because as my husband and I were talking about, I'm like, oh my gosh, some days I feel good and some days I feel bad. He's like, hey, Holly, it's because of what you're focused on. Yes, it stinks. You're laid up and you have to use um, a walker or a cane and you can't do anything yourself, but it's a temporary situation. In fact, life itself is a temporary situation. It is what we focus on. We get dry, crusty, cranky pie that's hard to swallow when we put in those ingredients, when we focus on the negative stuff. And he reminded me of that. Do some people have bipolar? You betcha. I'm sure they do. But a lot of us have pie-polar. When instead, we should be making cake. And it's all about the ingredients, what we put into our head. Cake is sweet, it's fluffy, it's fun. Everyone likes to be around the cake, right? There's no birthday pie. It is all about the cake. And you get that by putting the good stuff in. So yes, you can have a self-pity party once in a while, but you need a friend or a coach or a husband. Thank you, Lord, that I have a wonderful husband. Somebody to partner with, to be accountable to. It's real hard because you have a real enemy. And if you stray too far from what your creator says about you, then you start to believe what everyone else says about you, right? And I always do it by making a list. I'm just a list person. But you know what? That too is said in the Bible. Not only does it say you can capture your thoughts and hold them obedient, so you are responsible for the ingredients going in your head and the outcome afterwards, but it also says to write things on your doorpost. You know, I used to get aggravated that the Bible repeated things over and over and over. I'm like, get it, God, get it. But you know what? We don't. We forget. As I was laying on that couch, poor me-ing myself, I wasn't thinking of the blessings that I have people around to help me or that it is just a temporary situation or the other blessings all around, that was one thing I was focusing on. Bad, bad ingredient. So list all of the things. You're listening right now. You've got hears, and I hope you consider this a blessing. You've got eyes, you can see, you've got freedoms, you've got choices, you've got time ahead of you. And you have a heavenly father that knows everything, knows every thought going on in your head, every bird, every star placed in the sky. It says you were created in his image and you have a purpose and he loves you even more than you love your own children. Wow. Think about that, ladies. Now those are ingredients to make a cake. So go ahead. List all of your blessings that you have. Make a cake. Make it party day today. That's your Holly's Habitude. Have a super day and God bless.